You've never heard this DuckTale song, right? No. What is up, everybody? I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Steph Sabra. Hello. What up, bro? What up? We are continuing our journey of taking Steph Sabra back through time to look at some classics that I grew up with. And so the next one is DuckTales. Now, as I've said before, I'm saying this just in case you didn't watch the Mario Brothers Super Show one, or we had trouble with that one and not being able to get it up. We're only doing the first episodes of these. And if there is something that you really, really want us to continue with, let us know in the comments below and we'll see if we can do it. But more than likely, we're just doing one episode of each, just the first one, just to like give Steph Sabra a taste of what it was like back then. And so, uh, DuckTales, I cannot wait to jump into this. I've never, I don't know if I've actually seen the first episode. Cause you know, when you're a kid in the eighties and nineties, you're just watching what's there in front of you. There was no streaming. This is a brand new world we live in and it's so exciting. You guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications and vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. By the by, we're watching this on Disney Plus. So if you guys want to watch it along with us, become a Patreon member or a YouTube member of this channel. You will need your own Disney Plus subscription so you can open up each episode or the episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a three, two, one countdown sync and it's like you're watching it with two of your favorite cine pals from the internet. All right, let's jump into this. Here we go. You've never heard this DuckTales song, right? No. Oh my Are God. Are these Daffy's kids? I'm so excited for you. This music is iconic. I don't even know how much we can show on YouTube, but I'm so excited for you. Okay. DuckTales, woohoo! <laughs> it's a legit song. Yeah! The songs back then were so cool. There was like this whole introduction. They don't do this anymore. Half the show is the opening. Yeah. <laughs> this should be your karaoke song. I know, for reals. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. Excellent. Scrooge McDuck, he had a vault. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> and in this vault, he had some dough. Dough. <laughs> had some dough. Dough. Better than owning a vault full of cold hard cash and that swimming in it. How can you possibly <laughs> swim in That gold? would hurt. That would totally rake your skin. Okay, flex your rich. Disgust me, kill some leaf. Okay, outfit change. You got problems if you got gold in your ear like that. <laughs> um, I would, that became every kid's dream, is to have just a vault of just gold you could swim in. Right. I'll never make it unless I spend money on a taxi. Ugh, taxi! <laughs> the rich keep their money by not spending it, I right. guess. Well, I'm in the Navy, boys. You might. Oh, Donald. That is so cheap. Yeah, but he's family. Oh, Dave, you in? Oh. Yes, Uncle Donald. Oh, they're so cute. Uncle Donald. You in? Be good. I'm your speak by. Yeah, they had to explain why Donald Duck's not in the show. So he's leaving. Give me a hug. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I don't think he ever comes back. They couldn't afford him. <laughs> my tip. Here, chew on this. Oh, what a bastard. He gave him cheese samples as a tip. Oh gosh. They're making Scrooge highly unlikable. The worst. I gotta go. The girl of my nephews. And that's it. He's out. <laughs> Goodbye, Donald Duck. Well, I suppose we should head for home. I got a taxi. Ugh, no need for that. It's only a brisk three-mile walk. <gasps> and after that, we'll have a nutritious lunch of cheese. <laughs> the cheese that's in his head. Oh, in his no. Hat. Three boring days. We haven't been allowed to do a single thing in this whole house. Seventy-five rooms in the place, and he sticks us in the attic. Oh, my gosh. This guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta break the rules, kids. If those are more cheese samples, we're gonna riot! Pray, do not get your knickers in a proverbial twist. I love twist. that the top of it's, it's got a dollar a sign on it. Your yeah. Uncle Donald. Let me have it. Like, that's so cringe. Can you imagine going to someone's place? <laughs> it's got dollar signs on the stuff. And all they fed you is cheese from the streets. <laughs> 
The movie sure is exciting. Oh, we got our Top Gun. Top Gun was so huge back then. Admiral Clement has taken a personal interest in me and has assigned me to do some dangerous jet fighter work. You saw the original Top Gun, right? Yeah. Yeah, th- it came out like maybe three years before the uh, show, I think. Love, Uncle Donald. Wow! An aircraft carrier and fighter jet! Yeah, good for you guys. Oh no. Get around the house. Oh, you're coming in too fast! They're gonna get in so much trouble. The pillow has a dollar sign on it. <laughs> <laughs> and his helipad has a dollar sign. I forgot about all the dollar sign paraphernalia in this show. There goes Uncle Scrooge. Now's our chance to talk to him. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but Mr. McDuck left strict orders. There's worse, there's worse places you could... Totally. Just explore the house. What? Oh. What, what, what happened to the strict orders? There's no, just, there's yeah. no connection there. What? I like not Uncle Scrooge. What are you doing here? We missed you, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, they followed him. Missed me? What'd you throw at me? No, we missed seeing you. <laughs> I gotta remember that next time someone says they miss me. <laughs> Such a grandpa move. <laughs> you missed me. What'd you throw at me? I got another one. It's a green back I've heard that in Atlanta strip clubs, people just come in, just dropping money, like bags of money on the floor. I've always wondered what it might be like to go in there and just like... Fish, (laughs) fish some. Yeah. Did your Uncle Donald teach you anything? How to play ball, how to cross the street, and how to avoid strangers. That's all you need to know. I'd rather face all the Beagle Boys than those three. Who are the Beagle Boys? Rouge's money been 299 times. (laughs) Well, 300's the charm. Yeah! These are beagles? I can't. It's so wrong to beagles. Oh boy! Bon bon! So earlier we watched Mario and Toad had... Oh, (laughs) jeez. Gesundheit! We watched Mario and Toad had that New York accent. It's like back then in animation, so many characters had that New York accent. Yeah. They're like, how do we denote attitude? How do we denote villains? Yeah. (laughs) Edge. I need to cheer up. Send in the solicitors. Uh, uh, Mr. McDuck, uh, would you care to contribute to the retired panhandlers of America? No. Stop. <laughs> this is how he cheers up. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> you couldn't do these jokes today. <laughs> this is what we call punching down. <laughs> Oh, you no touching! We were gonna send that junky old boat to Arcadadon! Junky? It's a priceless artifact! It's a collectible! But until further notice, you are grounded! Uh. Grounded. <laughs> I love his Scottish I accent. Know. One. Shh! Now get down! That looks like a poop bomb. Now oh, they're getting out. So, where's this El Capitan character? Right here, caballeros. Stop. You are all experts on Scrooge McDuck's money bin. I want you to steal something from it for me. Cash? Something much more valuable. (laughs) Small wooden ship. Ah, the ship. Donald talked me into taking care of those little beasts. (gasps) I told you he didn't want us. Right. Let's get out of here. They're so cute. They packed their bags quick. Yeah, they were ready. Wow. Hey, who's that? Looks suspicious. (laughs) (laughs) He does look suspicious. (laughs) What do I look like, a little wooden sailor? Just look everywhere. Here, take the map, I guess. We gotta get help. And some kids, Run! What? You didn't even try to catch him? You're the worst burglars ever. <laughs> Just watched him go by. Eat my duck dust. 
Nice, kids. It also helps that the burglars are wildly incompetent. <laughs> yeah. Okay, twit. What? <laughs> no way, nickel bum! That's unrealistic. That wouldn't shut the alarm off. It's like in Star Wars when they shoot the doors. Oh yeah, to make it not work anymore. <laughs> yeah. Scrooge needs to invest in some security Quiet. guards. Running away from home. <laughs> Running away from home. <laughs> they were after the boat, but we found a map. It's late, and I have an important interview in the morning at my candy factory. Boarding school's not looking so expensive after all. God damn. That was every threat in the 80s and 90s. Boarding. I'll ship you to boarding school. <laughs> no. You know what? You're not wrong. My parents my parents threatened to send me to boarding school if yeah. I didn't act better. Well, only they didn't call it boarding school. They called it military school. Oh, gosh. Yeah. We can get the ship back and show up the Scrooge. We're not as rotten as he thinks. Why do they care? He's an awful person. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they want to prove themselves to him? They must be Asian. <laughs> <laughs> These are Asian ducks. There's only one way to find out. Jerry! Right, leap for it. It works! This is encouraging very bad behavior <laughs> for kids. Can you imagine? I saw it in DuckTales, Mommy! Yeah, <laughs> All these shows had a heavy robber influence, and so all of us, like Home Alone, I feel 80s, 90s kids were just raised on booby traps. <laughs> How do we set up the house? Yeah. What will we do? Yeah. The agreement was your freedom for the ship. I have kept my part of the bargain, so hand it over. Hey, not so fast, Grandpa. Fast. <laughs> not so fast, Grandpa. <laughs> it's a map. It leads to a sunken treasure, a ship full of oro. But it is in code without me to interpret it for you mental midgets. <gasps> Maybe we can talk a deal. Quick. What? How did they? Okay. Legends. Give me the ship, niños. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Give me the ship, Ninos. Russia! Really? That's your plan? Okay. What in the... Don't just... <laughs> what the... I tramped... Oh! Of course. No, no, no! I can't lose it now! Not again! Not again! It's very classic that there's this treasure, and it's not really even that. It's a map to something yeah. else, to the actual treasure. Just beat these turkeys dozens of times! DuckTales was a trendsetter. That's how we got Uncharted, baby. <laughs> how do you explain your phenomenal wealth, Mr. McDuck? Simple. I made it by being smarter than the smarties and tougher than the toppies. Oh. Sounds and I don't right. spend. <laughs> I don't, yeah, exactly. And I'm mean to my nephews. <laughs> Tell the truth, my life is pretty lonely. If it weren't for those pesky nephews, I... wow. yes, my nephews. <laughs> oh, the grand lads, quick, feisty, just like me. Is he pivoting, or does he mean any of that? I think half and half. Yeah. We're all change out of the same dollar, if you know what I mean. Yes! They were here so you could meet them. Oh, well, your wish will come true, buddy. Uncle Scrooge, we got your ship! Proof, they're right there. It all comes together. Oh, the the old ball rolling trick. <laughs> it's a treasure map, Uncle Scrooge, and they want it! What are they doused in? Is that... I can't tell. I've not yet begun to fight. What kind of factory is this? I don't know. There's <laughs> balls, there's pies, it's and there's cheese. butter. Or, or butter. I thought it was cheese. You're right. It's probably butter. <laughs> Trap doors. <laughs> hey, McDuck. Look what I got. I want my boys in the boat now or else. All 
right big time. It's a deal. I want to have a trap door in my house someday. Mm-hmm. What do you when know, the kids boys? Get out of line. And Scrooge's an old softy after all. Uh, I want to mm-hmm. live like... It's a or I want a house like the guy in uh, The Last of Us. <laughs> Oh, just like wind up the buzz, yeah. uh, wazoo? Yeah. What a sweet deal. Sweeter than you think. Now, boys. Oh, my God. Coffee? He's going to burn them alive? I'm surprised they're not crying in pain. It looked like it was smoking right. for a second. There's always a chocolate. <laughs> I thought it was... No, that's what I call sweet revenge. Okay, it's chocolate. Oh. I should have trusted you. You deserve a reward. I know. I'll move you from the attic to to the garage. <laughs> oh, this guy. You haven't won the treasure yet, McDuck. <laughs> Beware. Beware. <laughs> all right, DuckTales. How'd you feel about that? That was great. I want all the three little, the three little Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yes. I think that's their names. They're yeah. so cute. As, if, I, if I recall correctly, it was heavily inspired by Indiana Jones. And you can kind of feel that in the overall vibe of it and the music as well. It just sounds so John Williams to me, the whole treasure hunting aspect of it and whatnot. And so it's like a very classic trope of treasure hunting that you find this thing, especially in a game like Uncharted. You know, it's not really the thing. Because if you break it open, then the thing that you need is inside mm-hmm. the thing. You know? Duh. That leads you to another thing. Treasure hunting 101. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah. No, this is awesome. Yeah. I really like this one. Yeah. I love that Scrooge is a total dick. <laughs> He's just the worst, which gives him a good character arc to follow. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's kind of what I was looking for. when You know, it's just interesting the kind of jokes that they would do back then you could get away with. Even for a Disney program, it's like the whole thing with the solicitors coming in and him just using the trap door to get rid of them. It's like, you could not do that joke today. Right. There's way too much empathy in the zeitgeist for that kind of joke. You can't, you just can't. You, you wouldn't get away with it. But like, also in the same way, it is kind of smart in the sense that they're making fun of rich people. Yes. And how disconnected they are to people who have a cause that they care about. No, you're absolutely right. The context matters, but context is something that we have completely lost in today's mm-hmm. day and age. Now everything is bite-sized clips. How can can we roast this person or, you know, inflame some kind or incite some kind of, uh, uh, what do you call it, drama, you know, it's, it's something in the in the, in the the YouTube sphere or the Instagram sphere or TikTok where now there's beef between people, unnecessary right. beef. I watched something the other day with Dr. Mike, like he almost got into beef with another doctor because of a clip that was taken out of context in a podcast. It's like, what the hell? And someone was trying to get him to start beef with this doctor. Oh my gosh, and so, for the clicks. Yeah, so context, yeah, like you're right, like this is actually a good character building because you're establishing this guy who's kind of downright awful. Over the course of the show, his char- he has a character arc and grows to love his nephews and appreciate them. Yeah. Because he needs family. Yeah. I love how one-dimensional characters are, though, back in the 80s and the, 90s. The bad guys. The bad guys. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, they're just bad. Yeah. Because why not? I kind of love that. I like a villain with three-dimensional and you kind of understand their motives and how they got there, but yeah. every now and then it's good to just be like, I'm bad and yeah. I want money. Yeah, straight up. No, it's fun. I think this actually holds up better than the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Oh, for does. sure. Like, I feel like I could still show this to kids. The funniest thing is is trying to, like, think about it from a kid's perspective, though, because I watched this when I was young and I'm like, all of that stuff would have gone way over my head. But it's interesting to know that even back then, a show meant for kids was still introducing jokes or, or contained jokes that was like, in case the parents are also watching, they can also get a laugh. I think there's something to be said about shows that will hit for kids back in the 80s, 90s, and now yeah. kids uh, in today's age. If you hit them visually, they don't really are, they're not really paying attention to dialogue. Yeah. So the dialogue can be for the adults in the room watching, but if they have that visual and all they see is an old guy putting people through a trap door, mm-hmm. that's funny to kids. Yeah, yeah. No, you're absolutely right. And they'll watch the same thing over and over again. Yeah. So, uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let us know how it was for you. Did it hold up? I'm Jabby Koei. This is Steph Sabra. Peace out.